What's up guys, Avery here, and I am bringing you the first episode of Ave Reports. Now, this is actually going to be a series I'm starting where it's just going to be news, no satire shit, it's just going to be straight and forward with Call of Duty, YouTube, and real life news, so everyone can actually get in on this and might like some of the topics. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the first topic. Basically at the event there was a preview of Infinite Warfare and they did give us a little bit of information. If you pre-order a copy of Infinite Warfare you will be getting Terminal and it is on the moon. Now I think this is actually really cool because it was one of the best maps from Call of Duty and it started off in Modern Warfare 2 then it was a DLC in Modern Warfare 3 but now that it's in Infinite Warfare and also taking place on the moon but still doesn't seem like it's that altered that much it's pretty cool. On Modern Warfare 3 is a little dull but this this one looks pretty great. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the little image that we had of the map. That's all we got. That's the loading screen, I believe. It doesn't say it is a in-game. But if you guys do order Infinite Warfare, you will be getting Terminal. And we can obviously get some nostalgic feelings with that. Moving on to the next topic, which I feel like is the most important one. I got this information from Business Insider. Basically, eSports, which is the competitive gaming, has blown up. Especially with the public figures that are taking part in it and investing into it. So the information that I got also there will be a chart on screen where you guys can see it So the global esports market size is a total of 892 million dollars. This is just in 2016 They're projecting in 2017. We're going to be having a 1 billion dollar industry from gaming competitive gaming let alone but again, this is from sponsorships and advertising. That takes up 74% of it, which is $661 million. Now, the rest is prize pools, esports betting and fantasy sites, amateur micro uh, tour tournaments, ticket sales, which always is $34 million, and merchandise, which is $19 million. Now, guys, even though it's just 2%, $19 million for merchandise is absolutely epic. Now, I honestly do enjoy esports, and I'm glad that it's blowing up. Also, the interesting thing about the article is that it's literally becoming a big trending topic. Obviously, you guys can tell. I think it has more of a viewership than hockey, which is absolutely insane because it is gaming, which once we used to just see on YouTube. If you guys want to see the brief part of this article, I will be having it in the description. So you guys can click on this and see a little bit more in depth what's going on with this. But I actually, actually think this is absolutely epic. I'm really happy that this is becoming a huge part into entertainment. But we're going to be moving on to our next topic. Tomorrow is going to be Sledgehammer Games Week, and basically, it's celebrating the seven years that they started, and this is in 2016. So, on Advanced Warfare, guys, you are going to be able to get the weapons at the supply drop through certain dates. So, the weapon schedule is basically... The SVO Fury, which starts tomorrow, 724 at 9 a.m. And then, starting Monday, you can get the ARX 160 Royalty, then the M1911 45 Caliber, then also you could get the TAC-19 Royalty, then the Repulsor, which I have, and I personally love this weapon, I have a le Legendary Edition of it, that's coming out Thursday, 728, and then you can get the Pi-Tech Royalty, which is still a pretty good gun, and then we can also also get the STG 44 and that is the smokeless version which is gonna look really clean and the SV SVU is available through Monday um, at 9 a.m. So that is one of the perks. So this is also on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So that is a weapon drop schedule. And also they're giving away a sledgehammer hammer box through social media. This includes the SG SHG 7 a limited edition t-shirt, studio signed copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, studio signed copy of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and the SHG limited edition hard hitter coin. So this is going to be the Hammerbox sweepstakes. If you guys want to check it out, go to their Twitter, and you guys can definitely join in on this. So that's pretty cool. Also, we're going to be getting double XP during then. So everyone's going to hopefully be hopping on to Advanced Warfare for this special event. So this segment is going to be the rumor of the week. What does this mean? Basically, any clickbait things or just little leaks that are coming out, we're hopefully going to be able to debunk it and go on with this. So right now, the big thing is the ray gun in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Is this true? No, it is not at all. It is just a little publicity scam by a YouTuber who's taking advantage of his viewers. There is no way that this is true as of now. No actual information. And also, this is the worst photo 
Photoshop thumbnail I've ever seen in my life. I did a video debunking the whole thing and just making fun of the whole situation. So if you guys want to check that out, go to my most recent video and that's going to be it. But moving on from this poor topic that I just had. In this next segment, basically, Codename Pizza, a Zombies YouTuber who is very big and connected with his fans, was interviewed by another YouTuber called Ty Tree. So both their links will be in the description and also the video to the interview will be there as well. This is pretty interesting because it's actually 26 minutes long and I like how it's lengthy because it actually goes into full detail and you kind of get a background on this YouTuber. So if you guys are looking to grow in the community or hearing a YouTubing story, basically Basically, just go listen to this and you guys could basically have a good input on Thai Tree and Codename Pizza. Again, that is just going to be the link in the description if you guys want to check it out. For the last topic, we're going to be doing a Did You Know? And did you guys know that the Call of Duty Juggernaut Edition was the only edition on Call of Duty to completely sell out? Now, I feel like that the Juggernaut Fridge really did sell people. Because even if you didn't play Zombies that much, everyone's played it once in a while. And it is definitely one of the coolest features ever, just like the perks and whatever it is. But also, having a fridge that looks like a Juggernaut machine is definitely something something everyone would want along with like the perk of cola coasters but also I mean if you really cared for the camouflages then yeah you might as well want to get it for that too but I really feel like the juggernaut fridge and the perk of cola coasters really sold this one out but again guys thank you for coming by this video if you want to see more comment down below because I do enjoy doing this and I actually like doing all these topics uh, if you have any suggestions definitely drop them down below I'll be doing daily reports now my name is Avery and I'm out